A week following the deadly Sinai attacks, which took the lives of 44 individuals, Egyptians took to the streets in support of the armed forces and their fight against terrorism. We are against bloodshed, but we also hope that the army will be able to purge the country from extremist militants who aim to destabilize our country. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi had called on Egyptians to show their support for troops and their efforts in fighting extremists across the country and in Sinai specifically. Ordinary citizens have been feeling increasingly threatened with explosive devices being found on an almost daily basis around the country aimed at both civilian and security targets. Three small bombs exploded in 6th of October city near Cairo while a fourth was detected. In North Sinai, security operations continued as the armed forces announced that they were successful in targeting tens of militants in Friday morning raids. I believe it's time for the government to start focusing on restoring order and security rather than suppressing all the voices of dissent. On the other hand, supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood movement took to the streets as they have been for the past 20 months calling for an end to the current regime that they deem illegitimate. They also demanded the release of all political prisoners. Egypt is today divided between protests in support of the government and others who stand against the current military rule, which they pledge to never accept. Karim Gamaleddin, Press TV, Cairo.